Hello and welcome back to Patter English. My name is Sarah, and this is our second video now on how to have a conversation about the weather in English. So the previous video was about how to have a conversation if the weather is sunny or rainy. Today we're going to talk about how to have a conversation if the weather is really, really hot. Or really, really cold. So let's get started. It's a hot, humid day outside, and temperatures have reached a high of 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 35 degrees Celsius. Oh my, it's scorching hot outside. You can't stay out there too long unless you're at the beach. I know. I was only out there for a matter of minutes before I started sweating like a pig. It's so hot you could fry an egg. Do you know how hot it's supposed to get today? Uh, I heard it's supposed to reach a high of 95 degrees. Uh, well, I sure hope this heat wave passes soon. Tell me about it. I've got some gardening I need to do, but it's just impossible in this heat. Situation number two. It's a cold, snowy day outside, and there's about to be a snowstorm. Brr! It's freezing outside. I know. I just got back from the store and I was freezing my butt off. I heard we're supposed to get more snow. Yep, that's right. Could be anywhere from five to six feet of snow. Oh no! I hope we don't get snowed in. And to make it worse, it's going to get really cold after the snowstorm. They're saying it could get down to negative five with a wind chill of negative ten. Well, make sure to bundle up. Now we will discuss some of the vocabulary you heard in the lesson. The first phrase today is. To reach a high of. This phrase is used to mean the maximum temperature it will be that day. This just might be the hottest day of the year. It's supposed to reach a high of a hundred and two degrees. Our second vocabulary word is scorching hot. If something is scorching hot, it is very. Very hot. It's another scorching hot day today. Careful, that's some scorching hot coffee. Oh, really? Thanks for the warning. Then we have a matter of minutes. This is a phrase commonly used to mean a short amount of time. Such as a few minutes. It'll only be a matter of minutes before we start the meeting. The fourth phrase is "sweat like a pig." This is an expression used to mean someone is very, very hot. Okay, now I think it's time for the pool. I'm sweating like a pig. The next phrase is, "You could fry an egg." This is an expression people say to mean the temperature is extremely hot, so hot you could fry an egg on the cement. Click the link on the right to watch another YouTube video on how this phrase is commonly used in everyday English. 
A heat wave is a period of time when the weather is very hot. A heat wave could be for one day, several days, or a matter of weeks. How long do you think this heat wave will last? I heard it should cool down by this weekend. Tell me about it. This is a phrase commonly used to mean you agree with what someone just said. Ugh, it's been a long day. Ugh, I know. Tell me about it. I don't mind my sister most of the time, but sometimes she can be really annoying. Tell me about it. My sister is the same. If you are snowed in, there is so much snow, it's difficult to get out of the house. The snow's really coming down out there. Yep, looks like we're going to be snowed in by tomorrow morning. Make sure to is another way of saying remember to do something. Make sure to finish your homework before dinner. Make sure you invite everyone to the company party. Our last word today is bundle up. If you bundle up, you dress in very warm clothes before you go outside. So, for example, you put on a scarf, hat, gloves, or you might zip up your jacket. You'll want to bundle up before going outside. It's gotten really cold. Thank you for taking the time to watch this YouTube video today. If you study and memorize some of these phrases, you should feel more confident when having a conversation about the weather. Please feel free to ask questions or make comments in the comments section below. For more tips on how to improve your English, like me on Facebook or add me on Google+.